agroecology explained to kids. Except parents can watch as well. Don't worry, it is legal. Agroecology. Well, agro means agriculture. Logo means considering, and eco means your home. In other words, the planet. Basically, it's agriculture working with nature, as opposed to the agro industry, which is agriculture to extract as much as possible. How does industrial agriculture work? Well, to exploit natural resources intensively on a very large scale. It's all about producing uniformity and stability, which basically means stuff that's always the same at a rate that's always the same too. And you have to do this on mass, loads of it, all the time. And the problem is, this is against the fundamental nature of living things, which are diverse and able to adapt to their environments. To produce food like this at an industrial scale, you have to take a variety, make it uniform and stable, and then use it to create massive uniform monocultures. And this wouldn't work without the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. And these are actually sold by the same huge companies who also sell farmers the seeds. And we hope you'll forgive us for saying this, but that sounds a bit seedy. Now this process has transformed farmers from custodians of the land into sterilizers of the land. Creating land that does the job but in the long term just isn't natural. World farming looks like this. You've got patents, you've got stocks and shares, you've got dependence on chemical inputs, and you've got lobbies. People lobbying to make it more like this all the time. And that's where the profits are. Honestly, it's revolting. It's not good for us, it's not good for food, it's not good for the planet. But, luckily, even though this has been the past, it doesn't need to be the future. Today, this agro-industrial model is outdated because we all share a simple idea. We have no second planet. This is the only one we've got. And so we'd rather go for agroecology. Reducing our food by working with nature, not by working against it. This is why we invest in creating and protecting biodiversity. It's a resource that helps farmers to grow and to protect their crops. High biodiversity with living soils, insects and other beneficial species provides long-term fertility and productivity. It's a system that allows us to stop fighting nature and instead to work with it. And luckily, when the rules are changed to promote agroecology, it works. It's better. And it creates lots of real new jobs and livelihoods. Biodiversity works to help farmers make a decent living by boosting natural processes, not only in one place, but in every country. This is true for us, and it's true for others too. But for this to happen, we need to end the intensive monocultures of industrial commodities that are dependent on chemical inputs. Which is a fancy way of saying that we need to stop working with the companies that just want us to use chemicals which aren't good for nature, or for us. And if we can get away from this unpleasant system, we can replace it with low-input agriculture that respects nature, feeds people, and adapts to climate change. Which is something so important that we all need to do. And this is a beautiful and efficient solution to feed all people. Agroecology. It's about farming with nature, not against it. And not only that, it's about connecting and cooperating with nature and with other people.